listen when you understand the kingdom system you will know that there is a way out of everything there is a way out of everything there is a way out of everything i'm going to request that you lay your hands on your head and for the next two or three minutes please cry from the depth of your heart lord i desire a testimony let it be clear that i met you tonight someone pray let it be clear that i met you tonight let it be clear that i met your power tonight let it be clear that your wisdom has rested upon me tonight let it be clear that you heal through my life i know you heal but lord give me an evidence a token tonight outside pray let it be clear through my life that you still anoint men let it be clear through my life that you still lift burdens let it be clear through my life that you still cause men to remember men let it be clear through my life that a book of remembrance can be opened a preacher pray a tired mother pray a tired father pray someone in debt pray 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 Pray. Someone tired of curses, tired of demonic operations, pray. You came here to receive. You came here to receive. Sali kapelando salakrafata malakata. Leprakata belagata paratos. Let it be clear through my life that you can place fire upon a man let it be clear through my life that your favor can speak in the life of a man let it be clear through my life that you restore let it be clear through my give me the experience of the world that I become a living epistle after this miracle service one more minute you are praying across the globe make sure you pray release your heart release your faith knowing that god is the only helper the only one who can help men longevity of help resides only with the god of the bible all lasting help comes from god and god alone number two you must have defined expectations i'm helping to give definition to your expectations number three you must believe in the lord and believe in his servant believe in the Lord and believe in the vessel that he will use number four be prepared to take actions of faith actions of obedience you're receiving the manifestation of God's promises is faith dependent insist I must walk away with a testimony a testimony of breakthrough the help of men deliverance rising lifting a job promotion fresh fire upon my destiny in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray rise up on your feet now please Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? This is what a miracle service is about. You are cultured by the word to know how to receive. You will see how easy it is for the power of God to touch you because once faith is there, now you understand what to do. You make the assignment easy for the Holy Spirit to reach you and give you testimonies. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to bring all those under the anointing will be very very fast very fast you are not shouting you're not doing anything the power of God is going to begin to move please let me have those people here 
it's not a deliverance happening to them there is a kind of impartation that god is bringing and i want you to bring them out i will pray deliverance shortly afterwards father in the name of jesus as you're revealing this to me i'm praying that everyone i'm seeing like oil from a bottle just flowing on the ground in the name of jesus christ whoever must drink of that oil that that oil that sets you apart for some producing favor for some rewriting your destiny in the name of jesus please very quickly let me have them out inside this auditorium outside everywhere i stretch my hands i'm seeing oil by the power of the holy spirit let it rest on people right now let it flow to you let it flow to you for someone is bringing ease to your life you've gone through hardship hardship this is what god is taking out of your life this cause of hardship this yoke of hardship cause of hardship yoke of hardship the cause of hardship there are families who have gone through this in the name of jesus god is able to give men rest i pray that this oil will flow to you right now outside inside let it flow let it flow let it flow by the power of the holy spirit let it flow in the name of jesus christ you will be surprised at the things that begin to happen to you some of you even from this service right now before the service is done miracles miracles supernatural manifestations of god's power in the name of jesus i'm seeing stones i believe this represents altars i want to pray now i'm seeing stones in the name of jesus if there be anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of ancestry activities of darkness altars and yokes manifesting in your dreams stopping doors of favor cutting short the ministry of helpers you are going to shout the name jesus and let that fire rest upon you and consume every altar are you ready at the count of three one two three shout jesus I cause every altar I cause every altar in the name of Jesus by the blood by the blood of the eternal covenant by the blood of the eternal covenant I arrest every spirit tying down lives I arrest every spirit tying down families you give way now in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah i'm hearing the, the the spirit of heaviness there's a, there's a manifestation of that spirit in the bible that you'll be given a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i don't know who that is but an anointing is coming upon you that spirit of heaviness manifesting as depression manifest as suicidal thoughts in the name of jesus now i declare let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken now the spirit of heaviness be loose from it right now hallelujah i'm seeing the vision of a gentleman and others are walking forward but what i'm seeing in my vision is you are walking backward this is what i'm seeing not that you are looking back you are walking back while others are going forward this is what i see you know let me tell you backwardness is a curse 
because the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light you can be backward in ministry in cream uh, I mean progressive decline if I will use that expression that means there is no day that is ever better than the previous one no all your yesterdays are always better than your tomorrows I want to cause that spirit right now anyone here Jesus the spirit of backwardness responsible for retrogression financial retrogression responsible for ministry responsible for the decline in families I decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me the Lord is saying I should tell someone there is an explanation as to what killed your father there is an explanation as to what killed your mother there is an explanation as to what is killing the men in your family I decree and declare any programming from hell that after every season somebody must die as a sacrifice die by witchcraft or by accident I decree and declare right now let fire from heaven my God fall upon every altar every altar fueling death every altar fueling death every altar fueling death be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ ah, 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 ah. When Jericho is down, anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen, I have seen anointed men and women of God, people I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry because they have been fighting physically they do everything and sometimes you wonder and say ah, look how great this brother is look how great this sister is is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it hallelujah listen people make all kinds of gifts for me as you can imagine people make all kinds of gifts and sometimes I see what people do and I'm shocked. I say life is so unfair. How can this brother, this sister be this gifted and yet be begging? And you see someone come out from somewhere and priesthood goes before him. And in one week his life has changed. They can even be sarcastic. Priesthood will make them take life for granted. There is a system of ease. That God wants to bring to your life please hear me there are families here listening you have done all you know why don't you allow God allow the ark come into your home tonight and let it go around Jericho allow the ark come into your life tonight let it go around Jericho and you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself hallelujah I was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves God everything you know in life including good things fight him and recently I think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together I got a text the person sent me a text and when he narrated everything that was happening i usually don't call people back but i was touched i called him i said where are you he said apostle look at my life nothing works i said how did you get to the police station he said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him you think that's ordinary maybe that young man breakthrough is coming for him another thief from somewhere steals comes to drop a phone close to you does the police not have common sense to probe and they carry you together 
because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees blocking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a, a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job i thought it was all about marriage i thought it was all about children i thought it was all about my background now i'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem provided jericho is standing there but joshua gather the priests gather the priests listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say I will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirits. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest not the spirit jesus 
the man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the Aaronic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning. A priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We are talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood. The Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all. Once and for all. The advocacy of that priesthood is superior. Listen. Every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light are we together i want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family i tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown off the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministry lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that asked receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god Lord, why the circle of tragedies? One tragedy after another. One tragedy. Hallelujah. 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 Please just just be silent for a moment. I want to start ministering now. Let's just 
the lord is giving me instructions just just be silent stand where you are um <clears throat> something is happening inside outside everywhere the lord is showing me something very strange now um let me just describe what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that looks like um this thing people wear what's the name this thing that looks like a um, ladies thing that men wear that that looks like a yes that that thing that's what i'm seeing on many people and the lord is telling me on everyone that i see that thing in there is a very strange deliverance because that i'm hearing hidden glory and i want to pray please you don't don't shout don't do anything just let me flow you start bringing those people out i'm going to pray now for those group of people i'm seeing it because i'm seeing that those people no matter what you do your glory is never seen you will struggle and try but nothing ever happens now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free restore their glory now hidden glory that's what i hear in the spirit hidden glory hidden glory there is glory but covered in jericho covered by the fence of jericho everywhere inside outside i'm praying now please just be sensitive let's let's do what god is directing us to do tonight there must be total victory total victory now i'm praying for families the anointing of god will come on individuals but it is for families it will come on you once that anointing comes on you now know that god is visiting your family lord i pray now i release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost Parakata. i don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus i command now by the power of the holy ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory the lord is still touching people the lord is still touching people that's why you came you have done the listening let me pray now hallelujah lift your hands something serious is going to happen here now now i want to pray a very serious prayer the lord is leading me to pray this prayer i just had in my spirit altars of poverty hold on just keep your hands lifted father i'm praying you spoke to my ears altars of poverty if there is any family here in an ordinance under that cause nothing works 
there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos Kabariata. i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus play now lift your hands i declare the spirits that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now be free now be free now everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah oh sephia 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 like sephia i'm hearing a name sephia who is that please let's let's hurry up there is a lot to do i want us to settle down really pray for the sick sephia who is that her eyes her eyes say her eyes your name is sephia how about you madam the lord will locate the person i'm standing here and i'm seeing an angel of the lord touching the person god wants me to speak to her eyes say I'll pray for all of you but in the name of Jesus Christ I deliver this lady now this lady on red 
I command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone. For you, it's over now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be set free right now. Sephia, the Lord bring liberty. Liberty. Now, I command those altars to leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, bad luck, bad luck. I take it out of your life. The spirit of, I'm seeing a lot of bad luck. I take it out of your life now. Release their destinies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a lady, a physical person appeared to you in the room. This is a woman whose face you know like a relative. Physically, where is that person please? Someone, you were not dreaming, appeared to you. And there was a conversation from that day. Your life never became the same. Please don't be ashamed. I want to pray for you. Please don't waste our time. We have a lot to do. The Lord is ministering to me. Someone appeared. I'm not saying you were in a dream. This thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical. Who is that person? I want to pray for you. Please, when you find that person, let the person come quickly. Who is Ola? I'm hearing a name, Ola. Ola. I don't know if that's the full name, but there's Ola. O-L-A. There's someone with that name, Ola. Please don't come out if it's not your name. Who is this? Huh? Your name is Ola. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Break to us. Come to your family. This lady. I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are... Please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are Ola. Interesting. Come. That lady with cap. Come. Your salvation has come. Come. This lady with... Lift your hands. Over now. Over now. Over now. Calm down. Madam, come. I'm seeing what happened... Yes. yes. A woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able to physical. Physically. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Look at this. When was that? Last year, May. She appeared. Face to face and tell me it shall never will be well with well, you. No matter how, whatever you take, that you are not feeling fine. The medicine will not work. And from that, hold on. From that day, something started moving in your body. Yes. It will move and come to your back and come to your chest area. Look at this. Are, are you seeing a swelling here? You are seeing this? A woman appears to her. I prophesy to someone here. Jakas koto parakatia. Empreketoso bataria talikata. Anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life, I curse those people now. I curse those people now. I curse those people now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Madam, I deliver you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now. In the name of Jesus. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is speaking to me. There are some of you, all you see is dead people. All you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of hades i speak to you the spirit of hades christ has triumphed over you oh death Take away your sting. Take away your sting. Hallelujah. There are a number of you here. I presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair. That's your son. That's your brother. What happened to him? What happened to him? Accident. Since when? 2015. And he paralyzed you. You can't move now. Oh dear. We are going to pray for the sick. But I want to pray for Ola now. Just, just stand. Bring for me the person 
i'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now aside from this lady there is there is an anointing coming on one of you let me speak to that one person right now i'm seeing a closed door this is someone's destiny it looks like i'm holding the air but i'm seeing that i'm holding a padlock in the spirit whose destiny is that among these people standing open 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 now i command that destiny open open now open now open now open now in the name of jesus hallelujah you came alone hold on hold on hold on don't worry i'll pray for the sick sir if i'm if i don't talk are you a last sir no don't don't come out until i ask you this is witchcraft you would have died since last year june yes yes sir it's god that kept you i will pray for you i've seen your case already if i don't pray for you in three months you will not be walking again this is stroke what is wrong with you? yes all my body this is what i'm saying i'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again we have to pray this is witchcraft in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you come my dear this lady i'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing an old woman hold my hands what fellowship the exchangers of destiny i hold the hands of this lady and i declare right now in the name of jesus let there be a restoration a very beautiful girl in the physical but i'm seeing the face of an old woman be free now in the name of jesus i command the power of the holy ghost upon your life i command that your destiny be restored your destiny be restored in the name of jesus christ for all of you standing here my my brother this gentleman come what's your name what do you do what do you do i'm a printer sir you are what printer printer nothing is working in your life i need to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit i break this embargo i see upon your hand in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ this row i'm seeing deliverance chicken feather that's what i'm seeing chicken feather this is an ordinance over a family just this row i stretch my hands now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let there be emancipation right now in the name of jesus christ let there be emancipation right now in the name of jesus christ all right mama i know that it's not time to pray but i want to pray for you please come madam you came alone let her come you came alone yes so one of my say, son friend brought me here when you are talking everything you say is just about as if you are where, where did you together. come from i come from uh, samaru from but, samaru um, Basawa. no problem mama yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something i've thank seen you, jesus. thank you Lord. say after me say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the suffering the suffering the sorrow the sorrow in my life, in my life must, end. must end say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i will eat i will eat the fruit of my labor the fruit of my labor father by her confession Amen. let her be free now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that captivity is over i pray for all of you now in the name of jesus my dear don't be embarrassed eh? be careful with men come I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness of evildoers. I pray for you now. Every captivity in our last family, whether male or female, as I stretch my hands over you, I command that it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. I say it again. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now in the name of jesus for the last time now an anointing will come on you it leaves you now it leaves your family now 
in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, everybody. Gentlemen, when it's time to pray for the sick, we'll pray for you. Huh? Just be patient. Please help him so that he doesn't strain himself. All of you lift your hands. One scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now. Why are you here, my dear? You are with him? Oh, is your daddy. What? Okay. Since then, there is something that has been working on his body. Like you had an slave. accident? Yes, sir. Okay, and what happened? And since then, something has been working on his body, on his stomach, like snake. At times, the thing will... Are you seeing what I'm saying? So it was never about accident, you see. Accident was just the condition that made this happen. I saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again. But the Lord would destroy it. Eh? Just be patient. We want to pray now. Let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray. Exodus chapter 15. Quickly please. 6 to 11. Exodus 15. We are going to do a quick walk. We need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand Lord, has dashed into the enemy. Next verse to 11. And in the greatness of thy excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. To 11. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw up my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Next verse. Thou didst blow with thy wind, and the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty water. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, comma, fearful in praises, doing, not delivering, doing wonders. That's what you are about to see now. Lift your hands. He said, I will pursue, I will overtake my lust. My desire will fall upon the people of God. I want to pray. Listen. Deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down. It's, it's, it's bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a parting, a separation. The Bible says the river separated teeth and heath. Separation to allow you move. I want to pray. Are you ready now? Remember that after they moved the seventh time, it was a shout, the healer. A shout, not just any shout, a shout that was sent like a word. And the Bible says the walls of Jericho fell down flat. That shout is what you are about to do. But let me issue a command in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the one whom I serve and whose I am, in the name of Jesus I declare, over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two Three. In the name of Jesus, I command that fire to fall. Every power, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment. Go now, go now, go now every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah 
I usually don't do this until I'm directed. Hallelujah. I usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right. I just want to pass through. You don't have to touch me. Except it is not God that has called this meeting. If there is a force and a spirit, it must be exposed as I pass you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I decree and declare right now, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, every power, every force, every power, every force, every power, every force, you must go now, now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, as I pass you that anointing, like fire is coming upon you to set you free. Be free now. Free now. Free now. Free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you outside, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pass here right now. The anointing of the Spirit is going to begin to come upon you. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just, just allow me pass. Be careful. Be careful. Father, in Jesus' name, let it be over now. There is fire now. That fire is moving all across now. Shakatos koto barikata. Embreketa shataria tasubatia. In the name of Jesus, ordinances be broken. Now, I'm seeing fire just around here, where my hands are. In the name of Jesus, let there be freedom now. Let there be freedom now. Let there be freedom now. Be free now. Let it be over now. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. As I'm passing close to you, an anointing is causing every power. Let them go. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me to stand here right now in Jesus' name. Let there be deliverance now. Let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness. Every force of every force of darkness. Be free now. I came here because I know that there are so many of you. Look the crowd in this place. I want to pray for you. I'm standing here, my God look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three shake it be free now be free now shake us in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be free now Lift your hands over flow three. I'm praying for you. Are you ready to shout Jesus again? There are many of you, you try to move forward, but the force keeps holding you. As you shout Jesus now, you're going to see something leave you. Are you ready? Father, all those who have been held captive, I declare that as they shout Jesus, let your fire of deliverance come upon them. One, two, three. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i'm going to pray for everybody but the lord is saying there are some of you here the call of god is upon your life but there are altars fighting you i'm about to release you oh god i'm seeing 17 one seven where are they oh god right now to the back where are they they have the call of god but an altar of darkness tying down their lives Mata soto kata. be free now
hallelujah i'm going to pray for you look up please there are 11 of you the lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family and the anointing that anointing of that joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people lord where are they to the back right to the back that anointing a destiny is rising no even if you are the last born i decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer i want to pray for you many of you will be surprised what happens to you listen i'm seeing keys like a key that was missing some of you were once you were destined for certain things and the devil veered off your life and as it is right now the treasure that god gave you you have lost it as i pray for you that restoration anointing is coming upon you some of you is anointings some of you is business connections lord where are they at the count of three let that fire come shout jesus at the count of three one two three receive that grace now restoration fire 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 shake up butter please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray great grace great grace great grace great grace new season, new season. mama look at me it's over over forever over 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 it's going to use you the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ please everyone pray in the spirit. everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit overflow one pray in the spirit hallelujah Praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen, please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. There are some of you here, as I'm looking, I'm just seeing chains. I want to pray at the count of three. I didn't come to waste your time. Right now, that chain is going to leave people now. Anyone here under the sound of my voice, and there is a chain of darkness, overflow one. I declare at the count of three right now, let that chain be broken. One. I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakasko Pariata. Zato Zesekateriakata. Be broken, broken. Fire is coming. I'm seeing fire moving across the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break every force, every yoke of darkness. Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? Come. I'm seeing an evil spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. By the anointing of the spirit. I release the destiny of this baby. You will not lose this baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. This lady praying in tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace. 
for dreams and visions the lord is releasing it upon you pray for dreams and visions hallelujah now i'm going to walk across this crowd please i just want you to release your faith release your faith and receive something now as i walk through i'm seeing altars and they are living right now thank you jesus father let there be deliverance right now right now right now right now right now let that fire as i move oh god let the angel of your presence move let there be deliverance it is over that's what the lord says to you over now in the name of jesus christ over james 1 to 4 says consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that is the testing of, of your feet and it produces perseverance let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything life will bring challenges but those challenges shape us grow us and refine us embrace the trials with a heart open to growth trusting that god is developing resilience in you don't shy away from difficulty let it mold you into the person god is calling you to be i know it is easier said than done but with god we can persevere we can have the spirit of perseverance let us add this up in our november in our new month goal in this new month that we begin in this new month as we step into this new month i want us to have inculcate inculcate the spirit of perseverance in our hearts let us ask god to give us the spirit of perseverance and i pray that as we do that as we pray to him he will give answers to our prayers he will give us the spirit of perseverance i pray that he will give us the grace to persevere in jesus name amen and for the powerful message we are about to listen from God about Apostle Joshua Salman, I want to encourage that we open our hearts and we pray that the Lord give us understanding. Whatever is going to cause you a distraction to you while watching this video, I would encourage that you take it away from your side, shift it away so you can have a better attention, all your attention paid to this video you are about to watch. I pray that as you do that, the Lord Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Please get a jotter or a notepad as you watch this video so you can jot down some of the Bible verses some of the Bible chapters and then you can meditate on them in your quiet time. I pray that to do that the Lord Almighty will bless you in Jesus name. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to share. Share with your friends, your family, your loved ones. And if you're just coming across Reflector Hub TV for the first time, you are welcome and we're glad to have you here. For you to have all the videos that will be posted here on Reflector Hub TV, for you to be notified about them just hit on the notification bell and also on the subscribe button so all of the videos i'll be posted here you'll be notified about them thank you so much pay attention don't get distracted god bless you as you watch this video in jesus name amen <music>